Hey everybody, alright, so back for the shave. So, uh, like I said, most likely just gonna upload this shave tomorrow to give everybody a chance to uh, watch the unboxing pretty quick. But, um, yeah, figured I'd just, you know, give people some time. But uh, anyway, so this is the not soaking wet, as you can see, very jelly. So, right after I got the brush, I, uh, I soaked it for about five minutes in water and then I, uh, I lathered it up and then I only lathered the tips at first just to kind of help you know break those in a little bit um, and then I kind of used a little bit more pressure and lathered it up and then proceeded to palm lather it and uh, lost a few hairs that's kind of expected for a hand tied knot um, if you don't have any experience with hand tied knots because they're so dense um, not all the glue catches the hairs very well. Um, actually, no, that's not entirely true. Not all hand tied knots are, you know, super dense, but they're typically uh, denser than kind of, you know, the ready made knots. So, yeah, they tend to lose a little bit of hair, but um, like, I, like I said, kind of uh, expected. So, got it soaking wet right here, so I'm gonna squeeze it out and I'm gonna load up. So, signature, this is most likely its uh, last use. So, I'm pretty much just gonna load until all of it's gone. <laughs> Uh, I hope everybody is doing well. It is Saturday, kind of late afternoon at the time I'm recording this, but uh, probably let this post on Sunday morning. But very excited to shave uh, in case you skip the unboxing, which um, is cool if you don't really care. Uh, here's the brush again, Dark Angel Wing. Abalone brush from Turn and Shave with an M1 knot. This might take a while for me to load all of the soap. But I hope everybody's doing well, staying healthy and safe. So, uh, sorry, this is taking a while. <laughs> okay, I think that's about as good as it's gonna get. So this is about like a week and a half. And uh, no trimming, no, no uh no other like no shaving of the neckline or no tidying up or anything just kind of let it grow so yeah that'll be very nice to take this off And, uh, I mean, there's like a little bit left on the edges. I don't know. I don't think I could really squeeze a shave out of that. Not is so nice. Super, super soft. 
no scratch to speak of. So if anybody is unfamiliar with kind of the, uh, the badger brush terms, scritch, scritch and scratch to me kind of the same thing, just um, kind of like an uncomfortable feeling. Um, kind of, yeah, scratchiness, <laughs> I guess you could say. And before anybody says anything, no, not keeping the stash. But um, yeah, not not much scrub. Uh, just enough scrub from the backbone of the brush. Flow through is very good, as you can see. Good build up at the bottom of the knot. Probably just gonna have to do a little bit of water here. And then the razor, of course, has to be the matching absolutely glorious Dark Angel Wing Abalone, 9 8 near wedge, spike point, uh, it's more of like a square spike, but it's a little bit of an angle um, due to the smile, got the spine work with the spine inlays, and as I said, Dark Angel Wing scales. So let's get going. Is hot, so oh, beautiful. Just love the way the uh, the wedges just really shave. And for anybody wondering, um, like with the the aggressive spike, because this thing is not muted, um, like how you shave, to me, there should be no difference between shaving with a, uh, a spike. And a uh, standard blade, or like a, a muted blade. Because really, to be honest, If your technique is on point, I 
there really should be no difference at all. Now, if you're, uh, you know, if you are shaving with a muted point, as long as it's not a uh, round tip, even if it is muted, you will still kind of feel that point. Right, it's still metal. You'll still feel the uh, the point kind of not get you, but where it should have gotten you. And so, really, you want to get to the point. Oh, missed that entire little area right there. Huh? <laughs> Just get that. But you want to get to the point where, you know, you're not worried about uh, getting yourself, really. So. Yeah, I don't really shave any differently with any of my razors. At least in terms of um, pressure. With some of my razors, I feel like I can go a little bit faster. Um, you know, I'm not super proficient with the spikes because not all my razors have them. So I tend to maybe shave a little bit on the more cautious um, hesitant side. Not to say that I am, mm, hesitant is maybe the wrong word, but maybe just a little bit on the slower side, just kind of taking my time with it. Um, because, yeah, like I said, not super proficient with it. And then uh, I do have some edges that I'm going to be testing off camera. Um, I have the uh, the Awabi and the blue power I think ready to go <laughs> yeah this this little hollow has been giving me some issues lately But it's also where I have that ingrown hair too, so I don't try to push it too much. It's really not going away for some reason. But uh, as I was saying, the Awabi and the Blue Powell are, I think, shade ready. Um, they clinked off some arm hair really easily. <laughs> 
But uh, as we all know, the only real way to test an edge, and I'm just getting one loose hair out of there. But uh, the only way to properly test an edge is to shave. But none of my edges before were really plinking off hair very well. Not a lot of soap in here. Um, I really don't think I could go back to the puck and load any. Uh, I really don't think I got a very adequate load to begin with based off the amount of uh, soap I had in there. Let me just see if I can... I don't think that's going to work very well, but we'll give it a try. Yeah, it's kind of breaking up. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so we're going to try them out for a shave. Hopefully they work. Oh, maybe that did work, actually. Oh, aside from the fact that I have some soap chunks in here now. Oh, well. <laughs> I really don't think I got an adequate load though, just because I had so little soap. But uh, the two variables I changed up is I switched my 1K. So uh, I actually use the Shapton Glass 1K, which uh, I've heard mixed things about. But I decided to give it a try. I liked it. Feedback felt pretty good on it. Um, yeah, so that was nice. And then I used a different tape. So typically, and uh, kind of my own fault in this regard. Um, I don't really know what electrical tape I was using. They didn't have branding on the uh, on the inside or anything so I have no idea if it was scotch or just some like random um, you know random brand of electrical tape And all you guys who are much better honing out there than me, um, you can tell me if this made a difference. I kind of think it did, but um, yeah, I would imagine like between, oh, so I switched to the, uh, the Super 88. I really hope that's not that loud. I apologize. I'm just gonna leave this spot alone. It's getting a little sensitive. Um, just because I think I tried to shave it a little too much. But I would imagine the uh, The good brands of electrical tape are a little thicker, so. At least that's just my guess.
so nice to be clean again. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it seems to have made a difference. Like I said, the edges from what I tested felt good. And, uh, so, yeah, I'm pretty excited to, uh, give them a whirl. I'll be using this brush pretty exclusively, uh, again, just like the last one, just to help break it in. So here's the brush. Uh, I'm going to rinse it off. And this, uh, this knot currently is more jelly than my uh, Broken In M1. And um, my guess is that the, the treatment that causes the gel tips kind of makes them a little brittle, which explains why they get so, um, so like dry and, um, yeah. yeah, when they dry, they get super really dry and crispy. And so I think it makes them a little bit brittle. And so as you break the brush in, I think the tips kind of start to break off a little bit. Um, that's just my guess. Uh, could be completely off base, but I'm just going to really make sure this thing is cleaned out. So here it is super just soaking wet and just going to give it a good squeeze and just kind of fan it out a little bit. And there is the bloom, absolutely glorious, and the gel tips. So that's pretty much it for the shave. Uh, I'm just going to dry this thing off. Here is the fully bloomed, pretty dry knot. As you can see, extremely dense. Uh, the M1, really, you know, incredible. And uh, I'm just gonna finish it off with some signature splash. Cause why not? This stuff smells super, super good. Nice to be clean again. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. So as I said, if you kind of want to watch like an M1 uh, break in and I'll kind of try to tell you how it's changing as it's breaking in. Um, my next, I don't know, couple, at least few videos, uh, maybe about, hmm, I guess 10-ish videos will be with that brush. So, uh, and then including the shades kind of in between um, my videos, I will also be using that brush. So you'll see every other shade. But, uh, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Sorry about the noise one last time. And uh, I will catch you in the next one. See you.